Hey guys out there, um, how you doing? So, um, I got a, uh, a question asked to me, um, by, uh, Mateo actually on, um, my, um, technique on how to do the, um, um, the camouflage on, um, on my characters here, on my scouts. Um, so he, you know, he said that, uh, he was just looking for, you know, the method that I used and to see if it was easy to do and stuff like that. And it's very easy to do. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it real quick. I don't have a miniature, so I'm just going to use this block of foam core. It's basically the same kind of, uh, you know, technique. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just going to give you a quick uh, run through of uh, how I did it. So let me just tell you the paints that I'm going to use, okay? Um, first one is uh, Vallejo Model Color Flat Green. Uh, the next one is uh, Vallejo Game Color Tear Earth. Um, and then uh, another one is Vallejo Game Color Khaki. There you go. And uh, of course, you have a popular Chaos Black. All right. So, um, real quick. So this is basically what I did. Um, and uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna. You know, it's not gonna be perfect. So just to save time, this is what I'm gonna do. Uh, just a little drop of the flat green. A little drop of the Terra Earth and so on and so on. Um, the, the reason I, I use the flat green is because it's a really close uh, representation of what uh, my BDUs, I was in the service and uh, my, uh, my costume or my, my costume, my uniform um, was, uh, you know, you could, you could tell that the uniform had, um, flat green to most of it. And the, and these are the colors that I, I think match, um, pretty good. Uh, so, Chaos Black is the last one, so we'll put a little dab there. And then I wash this out because I'm not ready to use that one just yet. Soon, but not yet. Alright, so the first color I use is the uh, flat green and then the flat green goes over the whole um, area that you're gonna do camouflage so you know everywhere that you're gonna be using camouflage you just throw this um, universally over the whole dang since I didn't water this down, you know, I would water it down if it was a normal sort of thing. Um, you know, like a regular model that I'm going to do. Uh, I would water it down. Um, but I'm not. Um, this is just going to be like a, a quick tutorial on how I did it, okay? So, got the flat green in there. All right. Just because this is a little bit watered down, I'm just going to go off camera for a second and uh, dry it up. Yep, that was the awesome sound of me blow drying a foam core piece with paint on it. Awesome, isn't it? Okay, so we'll wash this off now. And the next thing I'm going to do is just put random... Um, like, uh, they're not perfect zero, you know, um, uh, circles and they're not perfect, um, shapes by all means. Uh, you know, it, it, you're gonna, uh, just do random, you know, shapes, whatever, whatever shapes you think, um, would look good. So, you know, you just take a little bit of that. Maybe put one over here that's going to be just like 
you know, more of a straight oblong shape. Just, you know, if, you, if you've ever seen, you know, military people, uh, I know nowadays they have the, um, they call it the um, tactical uh, camouflage. Uh, is, when I was in the service, the big thought was that we're going to fight in the jungles. Um, and going back to you know, World War One, World War Two. And, and even in Vietnam and Korea, you know, there was, there was always jungle warfare. Um, so there was a lot of this pattern because you're fighting out in the woods. Um, and it mixed in pretty well. Uh, well, they don't do that anymore. Uh, now you're fighting um, in the cities um, and sand areas and stuff like that. So the camouflage setup has, has changed. And that's something that I'm not going to even attempt to do because it's a lot of squares and a lot of different colors meshing together. And if you can do that for your camouflage, you, you deserve an award or something like that. So the next color is the khaki. And the khaki, you're going to do the same kind of shapes and stuff like that, but they're going to be a little bit more like longer in in a, in a style. You know, I... You think you know what I mean? It's going to be like uh, um, just smaller than than this these areas, but uh, it would be touching up against um, like the brownish uh, around you know the, the uh, around the tear earth there. So you know you would make it come around uh, and just try to be in a patchy area like that. Okay. Just be random about it. You know, it's starting to come out together. But you know what? It wouldn't look good unless you had some black. Black is going to just make this thing come, you know, booming out. And it's just going to, like, really catch your eyes and stuff like that. Um, so you take the black. I didn't even wash my brush. I'm just going to, you know, mix this up with the black. But uh, you take the black, and the black is going to be another, you know, highlight color. So you're just going to find areas where it's really, um, where there's not a lot of color. Like in this area right here, there's not a lot of color. So you take the black, and it's like, you make it like it's coming out from behind that one color. I think hopefully you know what I mean but you're gonna just like do little highlights of it but like catching the edges of some of these now we'll wash it off and get some real black in there um, so I, I mean I, I'm having a hard time describing it um, I'm more of a painter not a talker if you can figure that out probably did right now um but but the whole thing is that you're you're gonna just make accents just little extra areas and stuff like that just to break up the whole pattern um i mean it might not look good right there um because it's a big area that i'm doing but when you melt it down or you use this technique in a smaller area like this, it, it really does. I mean, I'm, I'm doing this pattern on these cloaks and you can just see um, where, um, you know, where I threw my stuff. Where, where I threw the khaki, where I threw the tierra earth color. You see that the flat green is the base color. So that's everywhere. Um, and yeah, that's that's how I did it. Um, so this was just a quick, um, you know, little how-to video. Uh, and I, you know, I hope you and I hope you enjoy it. I hope it helps. Um, 
So if uh, if you enjoyed it, click like. If you didn't, tell me why you didn't like it. I mean, I know I'm not the greatest uh, person, you know, talking through videos and stuff like that. I'm definitely no War Boss tape. I love his videos, and I'm going to tell you right now, getting a man crush on him because I love the way he explains stuff. And uh, I can't wait to like get better on my video this uh, presentation uh, when they ever come out. Uh, so uh, the next video that you guys will probably be seeing from me is uh, I'm going to attempt to do a how to paint a orc, how I paint an orc. Right, there he is. And no, he's not missing a head. His head is. Right here, and uh, we'll be painting him up. Hopefully, um, this guy's gonna join the uh, uh, the rest of the army that I'm doing my uh, uh, project for. Okay, so uh, I'll see you guys next time, and until then, I'll be seeing you later.